it's hot, baby. It's a little bit hot, so let me just pour just a little bit on. Just a wee bit. Ooh, how's that? Let me try this out. I can see the wing, I can see the fire on top of your head, babe. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in the heart of Torrance. We are. At the Brews Hall, right behind us. Last time we were here, this one just opened, and now we find out that there's another Brews Hall in, Redon in Hermosa, uh, Hermosa Beach. Hermosa, Hermosa, Hermosa Beach. Beach, yeah. yeah. Uh, they have like uh, maybe four or five different eateries plus a brewery or mm -hmm. including a brewery. Including a brewery. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we are here to try out what they have, what they offer, and get a beer. And if you're wondering what's the difference between a brew hall or a food court and a um, a food hall in, I guess, a food hall, mm. but usually the food hall has alcohol and probably like five bucks more at the food hall, <laughs> baby. Usually it <laughs> That's is. That's what I said. Yeah, it is. You stole my joke. I did. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay. There is outdoor seating here. Kids are welcome and it is pet friendly here. At least from the last time we were here, it was very pet friendly. And they have four different eateries in here along with a brewery in here. And just for reference, Del Amo Fashion Mall is just right over here. So th that's where it is. Yes. Here is their hours. And this place is credit card only. So they have five eateries within this Bruce Hall, which is the Bruce Hall itself. Then you have George Lopez Chingo Kitchen, Chicken Twilly, and The Herd. And down here we have Fresh Fish. Here's the drink list from the different places here, from craft beers to seltzers. And look at that, they have boozy milkshakes. And they have also Non-boozy yes. shakes. Right. Plus wines. It's a good selection of different kind of drinks. We're here a little early before the dinner crowd, yes. so it's perfect. But this is what it looks like inside. Pretty cool paintings. This is the different, I guess, the food places right here. But I believe you order from just one place. One all, register. All of, your, right, all of your food you want. Ready? They have really nice seating area here. There's three seating areas. There's one on, I guess you can say, the front side where the parking lot is. There's the center section where the brew hall is. And then there's one on like the back side. Open seating sections, TVs everywhere. Uh, best, they played a Dodger game on these giant screens. So this is a pretty cool place. So even usually we go to Long Beach to Legends. You know, you sometimes, all of my locals know Legends to go watch Dodger game, but I'd actually come here, outdoor setting. They have food here. Oh yeah, I like it. I got the Buzz Rock Czech Pilsner. I would wait until you get your boozy milkshake, but it's taking a little while, so we're going cheers. See how yeah, this is. delicious. It's perfect. I was getting parched on the way here, so there's nothing that satisfies that thirst than an ice cold beer. This is the cream sickle, which is a boozy shake. It has vanilla shake with orange vodka, orange juice, whipped cream, and an orange slice. Hey, they didn't give me my slice, but that's okay. Let's try this out. It almost just looks like a straight up vanilla shake. Oh no, this is orange sickle. Wow, this is so good. It's creamy. You can taste that hint of orange in there. That little burn of that vodka. Wow, this is really good. I'm glad I got it. I'll probably get another one. We have a, a whole half table of things to try out. We're gonna go ahead and pick and choose on these, but let me explain to you what we got. I got here the shrimp jambalaya. That looks delicious. It's a spicy Cajun cream shrimp and dewy sausage, mushrooms, green onions, sea bass with sticky rice. You can see the sea bass in there. Wow. I never heard of jambalaya with, with sea, bass. sea bass. Right, interesting. That'll be kind of interesting to taste. Then over on this side, we got the, this is a new one, Tahitian ahi tuna. It's 
sashimi seared tuna. Oh yeah, it is seared. You can tell that it is seared. Mango cucumber scallion furukake, which is the, the sesame and seaweed mixture. Tomato romaine carrot macadamia nuts. Toasted coconut, sesame seeds, cabbage, avocado, lime, and coconut. That's that one there. Then over here, we got the... Let me tell you what it is. Grilled pescado, flour tortillas, beer battered sea bass, spicy crema, cabbage, tomatillo, salsa, cilantro, and lime. And it comes with beans and rice. Look at those chips, nice and crunchy. And a little bit of salsa as well. Over here, we got the favorite, number four, the favorite. Crispy bacon, jack cheese, garlic aioli, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and fried onions. That looks beautiful. And this one was called the split decision, which is half onion rings, half fries. These are normally all a la carte. So the fries and rings are separate. These here are the beef machaca taquitos. It comes with three taquitos, gotija cheese, crema, salsa mexicana, Spanish rice, and black beans. Then we also got the elote, which is street corn, crema, cotija cheese, and chili pepper. And last and certainly not least, we got the wings, Asian barbecue wings, and the, you get two sides. We got the Asian barbecue sauce and the ranch dressing. And this come with carrots and celery as well. And there's about maybe at least six six wings here. There's a lot. No, there's yeah. more than that. Oh, more than six. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten. Wow. Ten wings. Nice. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is quite the spread, but we're getting a good sample of what this food hall has to offer. And I think we're gonna start out with the ahi salad. We're gonna first try out this Tahitian ahi salad. It has a lime coconut vinegar at. I love tomatoes. I'm gonna get a little bit of a tomato, and that's the mango and the piece of the seared ahi right here. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a good bite. Those tomatoes have so much flavor. That almost tastes like an heirloom tomato. That lime coconut vinaigrette, absolutely amazing. The crunchiness of the macadamia nut, and I like the nuttiness that's you can also taste it tastes like the macadamia nuts are roasted and i know it's the sesame seeds it tastes like the sesame seeds are roasted too this is a really hearty salad gives you that great i know people say mouthfeel but what it really means it really the flavors really fill your mouth and so the tastes really come out in case you don't know what that mouthfeel means mm -hmm. This is a really good salad, and as you can see, it's a really good portion as well. Those coconuts just hit it nicely. Let me give this ahi salad a try. Perfect bite right here. Wow, I'll be honest. When I first looked at it, it just looked good, but it didn't seem like anything that would blow me away. But it's blowing me away. This has great flavors. I love that dressing that they put on here. What, what was it? Coconut lime? Coconut lime vinaigrette. Yeah. Very unique dressing. I love the mangoes in it. It really gives that freshness to that salad. This is delicious. Never had anything like this before. We have plenty of like Chinese chicken salads, but this is a, a vast departure from that. This is very good. I got to try out this favorite a burger right here. Look at that, crispy bacon. It has that melted cheese. Of course, it has lettuce and tomato. And I love the wrapping that, that's with this. It's almost like you're at Vegas and you're, and you're looking at the sports scores. It's like a scoreboard, right? Very unique here. I'm gonna try to pick this up. Oh, look at all the fried onions too. Pick this pick out. Wow, look at that. You know what's really good too is the meat fits the bun. Now sometimes you don't like it when the meat's too small and the bun is oversized. Yeah, this, this looks really good. For some reason I always have to bite it with the top bun on top. 
I don't know why, but here we go. Mmm. What I love is that jack cheese. The beefiness of that thick patty over here. Uh, is it like a third pound? I, I believe. believe so. Yeah. So, great size burger. Bacon is crispy along with those crispy onion rings on top. This is a delicious burger. And what also makes the burger, burger is also the bun. You could just see my fingerprints from it. It is nice, pillowy soft and fresh. It looks a bit like a brioche bun. Yes, and you know, one thing we don't want are stale buns, right? We don't want stale buns. Mm -hmm. Could ruin a burger. Everything here is fresh. I love it. In fact, I'm gonna have to go for a second bite. I see those juices dripping on that burger, baby. Yeah. yeah. Juicy burger. It is a juicy burger. Let me try these onion rings out. Just by holding it, I could tell that it is nice and crispy. Dip it into the ranch dressing. Oh yeah. I know you heard that crunch. When you bite the onion ring and you don't pull the onion out of the batter, you know it's a nice fresh, freshly fried onion ring. It's delicious. What else could I say? It is nice and crispy. Great onion flavor. Perfect onion ring. Try some of these fries out. They do have ketchup over there, but I'll grab some in a bit. The fries are just okay. There's nothing too spectacular about them. They're not really crispy, but they are good. They don't taste like regular fast food kind of fries. The star are these onion rings though. So if I had a choice between the two, go for the onion rings. Here's the jambalaya. Look at this shrimp in here. Really good portions of shrimp and andouille sausage. But what I'm gonna try out is this fish. I don't remember jambalaya having some fish. It's supposed to be some sticky rice in there. So I have some fish, some rice, mushroom into this roux. This is a really good jambalaya. It brings me that flavor. It's really bringing me back to New Orleans. That fish is absolutely amazing in here. To me, because the fish is so lightly tasted but very hearty, I almost prefer the fish to the shrimp. The spice level is very mild. It said it was spicy. The spice level is very mild. It does creep on you a little bit but not to the type where if you keep on eating and eating, eating, that you'll feel too hot. It is very well controlled. I'll try out the shrimp. They do give you a lot of shrimp in here. They said it was sticky rice, but the rice isn't too sticky. It is stunning in the way that this dish is very well thought out. I'd come back and get this one again. I've got to try out these beef taquitos out. Look at that. Three to an order. It's got the Mexican cheese on top. As you mentioned, the Mexican rice and black beans. Let's give this a go. And I um, think they're machaca, which is like a shredded beef. I'll try it without the salsa first. Taquito shell, nice and crispy. The meat. Slightly lacking in flavor. I was expecting a little bit more machaca punch to it. But let me try it with the salsa. Maybe that's the uh, extra spiciness and taste that it's missing. There's the punch. It needed this nice fresh salsa right here. It is very good. Took this taquito to the next level. With the salsa, I like it a lot. These wings are humongous. Look at how big. These are not little, little small. I love domino wings, but they're not the little small domino wings. These are meaty. Are you a team flat or team drum? In this dish, you have to be a team flat because I think there's only one drum and we are team flat oh, all the way. That's perfect for us then. All the way. Gonna go ahead and try out this wing. Again, we got the uh, Asian barbecue sauce. 
Mm -hmm. That wing is nicely cooked. It is extremely meaty. It has a little bit of spice in that Asian barbecue sauce. So heads up, we got dipping sauces as well. We have the Asian barbecue dipping and the ranch. So here's the Asian barbecue, which has that spice to it. I'm gonna dip a little bit in ranch. Hopefully it'll cool it down a bit. Mm, so good that I would come and even get, get these. So come watching a game, have a beer, get some wings. These will match perfectly. Fish tacos, one of my favorites. You have the option of getting either fried or grilled. So we opted for the grilled. And the type of fish, again, sea bass. You can see it has little blackened grilled spices on it. The rice and the black beans are the same as the ones we got with the taquitos. So we won't have to try those. They do give you some lemon wedges here. So let's give it a little squeeze. Squeeze. a good sized piece of fish in here. Look at that. Does go for end to end, huh, baby? End to end. Well, it's got like two. It's like two big That's pieces. Pretty good in one taco. Yeah. Definitely has some of the blackened spices to it. I'm going to be a straight shooter here. We've had a lot of grilled fish tacos before. This is one of the better ones. One of the, the best. Wow. Grilled fish tacos. It is packed full of flavor. I love the blackened seasoning, the way it's grilled. These tortillas are nice and soft. And they're a little, I don't know what they put in here, cilantro, a little bit of cabbage, and that's and whatever else seasoning that they put in here, some aioli right here. Everything matches. This is delicious. I know I hate to overuse the word delicious, but it is what it is, and I'm calling it the way it is. These are great. Love these. Mm. Definitely highly recommend if you're into fish tacos. This is the elote. It has a little bit of chili on top. You can tell it's nicely roasted on that grill. It has a little bit of the cheese on top. Let's go ahead and get a bite. First and foremost, this corn is fresh and extremely sweet by itself. That sweetness of the corn really comes out in this one. Even with all of the stuff on top, that sweetness of the corn comes out. The little bit of spiciness because of the chili that's powdered on top of it goes with the sweetness and the cheese just kind of mellows it all out. Wow. This is one that you can't miss either. So far, this food hall is hitting like 10 for 10. I remember coming here when it first opened and they had tacos, they had the little things here and there and they were they were good. They were just not like completely blown out of the water. They've really mastered their flavors and this stuff here is absolutely delicious. Almost six o'clock and a lot more people are here. They don't have happy hour deals especially in that little sweet time. But with this food here, you don't need it. The food is excellent. That is a wrap from the Brews Hall. Uh, this is an excellent and brewery or food hall, as you can say. Mm -hmm. uh, it, all the food was just excellent. I mean, other than the fries, which were regular fries, everything was just excellent. I can see coming back here. And yes, definitely. People are gathering. You can see this is like a good after work type meeting place, things right. like that. Have a yeah, we have a lot of viewers that are local to the South Bay mm -hmm. and Torrance area. So if you haven't checked this place out, definitely give them a try. You have to. Because mm -hmm. we will give this a Bill and Lisa approved bang. Yeah, sticker. And, you know, if they had a sticker wall, you know, we would have put our, our sticker on here. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So um, anything else? Uh, oh, shout outs. I have oh, some yeah. shout outs. Oh, shout outs. First, first and foremost, thank you to the couple that said hi to Erin at Universal, the one from Germany. Yes. Uh, she completely 
uh, forgot your name. She, her, your name escaped her mind, but thank you so much for saying hi to her. Uh, thank you for Ian Miller. He came, he's a general manager here. He came to check up on us after when we, while we were leaving. That's right. Mm -hmm. And make sure everything was, uh, was up to standard. Up to standards. Yeah, up and to bar. of course, we told them we loved everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we have regular shout outs. Yes. Oh, I didn't get them ready. But what was your favorite while I get those shout outs oh, ready? Oh, wow. My favorite. I am torn between those chicken wings and the fish tacos, those grilled fish tacos. They were excellent. I also love that ahi salad. I have to go with the tacos as my favorite. Of course, you know how I felt about the rest of the things. Mm -hmm. Love them all. Yeah. How about yours? Mine was the jambalaya. I really mm. like that sea bass in that jambalaya. It I just, forgot about the jambalaya. It just was like yeah. over the top. I mean, I love jambalaya. I love the deepness of the roux. I love the richness of the taper, ta um, flavor. And I love how it always screams love every time I eat it. Yes. And this one with that enhanced flavor of that sea bass, it just brought it up to the next level. Oh, that yeah. was, my, was my favorite. Wow. Okay, now I got my shout outs, okay, babe. I'm ready. Okay, it. Deanna, happy birthday. Ama, uh, Mintros, happy birthday. Gwendolyn, happy birthday. Grandma Gibby, happy birthday. Harley, happy birthday. Nicole, happy birthday. Leslie, happy birthday. A lot of birthdays. Uh, Mikey S, happy birthday. Chris, happy belated birthday. Will and Iris, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, uh, Marina and Taylor, happy anniversary. Christina and Matt, happy anniversary. And Shelly and Roger, thank you so much for saying hi to us at King's Hawaiian. We That's saw right. them in yeah. the morning for breakfast. Yes, yes. Yeah, that yes. was it, baby. Okay, well, happy birthday, happy anniversary, and thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thank you. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.